thanks for joining me in my kitchen and a very warm welcome to you if it's your first time. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes. So today we'll be making steak and mashed pies and you guys are going to love this. The pastry that we'll be using is from a company called Pastry World. Now they're based in Leicester. Now they've been around for over 20 years. Recently they have decided to launch um, to the retail market and soon to also go nationwide. Currently available in packed foods and to also similar supermarkets as well. Now they come in two sizes. So currently available in uh, a box of 10 five by five squares and also a box of ready roll sheets for your convenience. Now you can make amazing stuff from this. You can make sweet and savory uh, pastries. So we can make like um, chicken and cheese pies. So you can make a large pastry. You can also make small pastries too and you can pop them in the freezer. You can use it for your lunch boxes as well. Perfect for Ramadan as well. Uh, you can make uh, spinach and feta cheese, uh, vegetable pastries, lamb or even chicken mince. And of course you can also use it for this recipe that I'll be making today. So let me show you what we're doing and let's get straight into it. Okay, so let me just take you through the ingredients. Now what we have here is approximately 500 grams of uh, beef steak here. And what I've done is I've cut that into pieces. Also, we have mashed potato there. Now, what I've done is just boiled about four medium potatoes um, and then I've just mashed them up with some butter, salt, uh, a little bit of milk and uh, black pepper. One teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of lemon pepper, one tablespoon of garlic and uh, fresh chilies and I've blitzed that into a paste, four tablespoons of gravy, some salt to taste, one teaspoon of Worcester sauce, one tablespoon of cooking oil, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, two tablespoons of red pepper and I've cut them into small pieces, one tablespoon of jalapenos and they were in a bottled, they were bottled jalapenos and I've just chopped them into small pieces, one tablespoon of mustard sauce, one teaspoon of red chili powder, juice from one lemon, two tablespoons of tomato sauce, a couple of eggs, fresh coriander, and we'll be filling this in the five by five squares. So let me show you what we need to do. Oh guys, also com completely forgot a couple of things. So also we need flour paste, which is made from plain flour and some water. So this is used to stick down um, and seal the edges of the pastry. And also not forgetting the onion as well so one onion and i've chopped that up okay so in our preheated pot we're going to start by adding in the oil and then we're going to add in our chopped onions the beef The garlic and fresh chilli paste, I'm going to add everything in, if you want it less, if you want it mild then of course you can just adjust that and just add less chillies. Lemon juice, teaspoon of lemon pepper, salt to taste. So I'm just going to add about a teaspoon now and then we'll taste that and see if it's the correct seasoning and add a bit more if we need to and also the Worcester sauce and the red chilli powder. Now what we're going to do is just give that a stir and then we're going to cover this and I'm going to keep this on about medium heat for about 15 minutes and then we'll come back to it. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes or so um, and when there's a little bit of moisture left we're now going to be adding in about a cup and a half of water. So let me just pour that in. And then just 
just mix that up. I'm going to let this simmer on low to medium heat. Um, we want the meat to be tender and it should flake off. So let me just cover this and I'll come back to this in about 10 minutes. While the beef is still happening, uh, let me just show you what's inside the boxes. So if I just start off with this one. Now th this is the pastry that we I'll be using today. Um, so let me just take them out. So we've got 10 five by five squares. And the way to defrost them is if we just separate them out and then just leave it over here. It should be about 10 minutes and they'll be defrosted, they'll be nicely thawed. And if I to show you these, so in this box, you get two rolls and it's this way. So I won't be defrosting this. I'm going to put this back in the freezer uh, because I won't be using this today. But it's just to show you guys. So you get two rolls, nicely wrapped up. You've got a bake, baking paper as well. So you can also uh, use the same sheet to put the pastry on. And each roll is 450 grams. And the pastry is also vegetarian. Let's just check on this. So... Let me just show you. It's not, I don't think it's quite done yet. It has been cooking for about 10 minutes, but let me just see. Yeah, so we still, we want it still a little bit more tender. At this point, we can still add in the gravy granules. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. And just stir that in as well. So now it will start to go a little bit thick as well, which is what we want. I am going to cover it for about five more minutes um, and then I'll come back to check to see if the meat is done. Okay, so the beef is now nice and tender. Uh, so what I've done is I've just shredded the pieces um, and then what I'm going to do is just add in uh, the rest of the ingredients that we have left uh, and just heat that through. So I'm just going to be adding in the mustard and the tomato sauce. The chopped jalapenos, chopped red pepper, and just a pinch of black pepper. So we're just going to stir that and just gently heat this through, and then the mixture's ready. And then I'll show you the next step, which is filling the pastries. For this part, we will need mashed potato, sesame seeds, the flour paste to seal the edges of the pastry, beaten eggs, the mixture of course, chopped coriander and our pastry. So to the mixture, I'm just going to sprinkle this over and then mix that in. So we just get our square. Now in there, I'm just going to add a heaped teaspoon of the mashed potato. Now, before I actually show you guys, sorry, you can fill this in however way you like really. So today I'll be making them into triangles. So I'll be just folding them over. But of course you can also make them into rectangles too. Um, or you can cut it in half and just make like square pillows. So now if I just take some of the mixture, so I've got about heaped table, sorry, teaspoon of mashed potato and I'm just going to put it here and just spread it out. Maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to take our steak mixture just over about a teaspoon or so and we're just going to spread this on top of it 
like this. And then we're going to grab our flour paste and then carefully just spread it on the edges. And then around this side too. And you can use your finger for this as well. Like that. And then just fold this part over. And gently seal the sides. And then just take a knife and I'm just going to make some, or you can have a, use a fork as well if you want to. And I'm just going to put a few slits on top like this. Take your egg and then we're just going to egg wash it on top. So this will give it a nice golden color when it comes out the oven. And then we can sprinkle on top with some poppy seeds or some parsley. I'll be using some sesame seeds. And we're just going to sprinkle that over. So we're going to be doing this for the rest of the pastries. Now I'm going to bake this in the oven on approximately about 180 degrees. But the oven needs to be hot. So I'm going to preheat that on 200 degrees first. And then we'll, cook, we'll bake that on 180 degrees. So guys, these are now out the oven. Let's cut one up and see how it is inside. They look lovely and golden. Now, I don't know if you can hear that crunch, guys. But let's just cut this open. Let's just show you what it's like. It's really nice and flaky. It smells delicious too. So do check out more info in the description box below on these puff pastries from the pastry world. I really hope you enjoyed this video on steak and mash. Do try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below or on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.